Feeling energized? Got myself a new Diet Coke? Mm -mm -mm. Let's go look for some candy. What do we think? Dark Zora says he knows what candy is. Yeah, candy. It's it's delicious. So we have just found our candy. Raw adamantine. Praise the miners. Look at this adamantine over here. That is fantastic. A little tricky to mine because it is literally sitting in the middle of a pool of magma. But we can dig through the middle part of it here. That's excellent. Okay, let's go, um, let's see what we can do about that. That's hot over here. That's probably still above a magma pool, but just to make sure, what I'm going to do, I'll dig sideways over there, see what we can see. Woohoo! Adamantine! So adamantine is a super strong, very light metal. It is terrible for making things like warhammers, but really good for making things like swords. Mmm, candy. Delicious, delicious candy. So yeah, if you dig deeply and greedily, you can find adamantine. There's, um, there, I don't know, is there always just the one vein of it? Maybe there can be more than one. But yeah, we can do that. Ooh, Masterpiece Thrones, very good. We haven't checked on the top of our base for a while. See how things are going. You know, we still have our temple here. To the drowned god. To the buried god. Drowned in magma god. That's what's going on. Good number of bedrooms. Oh, we didn't rename the um, the migrant wave last time. So let's go and reload the dwarves here and find our last wave of migrants. Oh, there's thankfully only five of them, so name is going to go well. We're going to have Matthias Maximus. We've got a Starnsworth. A J. Roach. Uh, Majton. These are just randomly picked from... Uh, Twitch subscribers, and Death Visage. Welcome to the party. Some of them may have been um, non-dwarves who were had petitioned to stay, but I think most of them are uh, are that are actual dwarves. All right, over here. Excellent. So we can build a well. Well, is L. I'm going to build one here. <gasps> okay, we're okay. It just saved. I took the break. It was fall. It was autumn. So it just did a seasonal autosave. Okay. All right. Let me, uh, let me get this reset up here. Close program. Everything should be fine. No need to picnic too badly. All right, uh, continue playing. Fortress mode, load. We'll take a look at it. I gotta reset my window. <laughs> Alright, so nothing that happened before the break actually happened. We're rewindifying here. We're about to find the candy again. <gasps> right, a mantine! Praise the miners! I can't believe it! I can't believe we just found some again. Anyway, let's try to build that well again. So, build well. Is it the well that's breaking things? I don't know. I don't know. Okay, no wells this time. Screw it. If you can't drink beer, then you can't drink anything at all. Water is forbidden. So we lost that dwarf for nothing. The dwarf who died digging our well hole. Poor guy. Raw adamantine, praise the miners. Okay. I'm not going to do anything for a little bit. We're going to see if there's any crashes. 
So far, so good. Yeah, that's not the kind of fun I'm looking for. Crashing is not entirely fun. So, the idea will be for us to, say, like, dig right down through the center of that adamantine. And get a little bit of it. So I'm not building a well. I think the well is what's crashing us there. I'm not actually playing the latest version of Dwarf Fortress. So there's a lot of possibilities for things have been a little bit wonky there. Um, because this save has been going on for a long time, we're sort of an older version of the game, older version of the F hack, and so on and so forth. So, Seraphilith, I don't know what you're talking about. No clue whatsoever. Everything is fine. Oh, is that a magma crab? Yep, magma crabs. Not too dangerous. The imps are a lot worse if we see any. There's certainly, what is this over here? Fire snakes, Hey. Going to invite the clowns to perform in your tavern? That's right. Adamantine's great for wounds, yeah. So the adamantine process is what? You actually, you smelt it into thread, like adamantine thread, and then you wave them into wafers, and then you can use that to build armor and weapons? I think that's the process. I don't remember. Oh, look at this. Oh, this raw adamantine. <gasps> Praise the dwarven gods. Hey, we're not going to take too much of it right now. We just we just took we took a little bit. It's fine. That's that's going to be great. Uh, I hate saying no to you, but no. I mean, if you dig out a little bit over here, because this is not it's not hot or anything, right? No. Oh, look at that. Tons of it. Okay. We'll hold off for now. That's going to be that's going to be a good start. Meanwhile, uh build uh no. Nah. Magma smelters. Excellent. Yeah, build it out of whatever. You you need to build me something. It's for the good of the fortress. Rodamantine is spun into thread. Weave it them into threads, then smelt them into wafers. Yep. Um, I just don't remember where you make the um, the adamantine thread. Um, wiki. Adamantine. Just don't remember the correct process. It's not something that comes up very often. Adamantine strands are extracted from adamantine at a craft dwarf workshop by a strand extractor. Extremely tedious process. Ba 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 ba. Okay. So we'll still set up the, um, the smelters there, but my craft dwarf workshop, which are where? Carpenters, boyers, craft dwarf. So. Oh, extract metal strands. There it is. Put it on repeat. So you're going to do that forever. And presumably you can only do that out of adamantine. Okay. Do I only have the one craft work workshop? Looks like the answer might be yes. Which has been sufficient until now. That's fine. Someone and someone's starting to work on that. This, I feel unstoppable. And take the children to the circus? I oh, will probably. 
We'll bring the elves too. Adamantine mugs? Uh, that might be a little much, but it would be kind of awesome, wouldn't it? It'd be great to make some adamantine swords. <laughs> After extraction, can either be woven into adamantine cloth, the loom, or smelted into adamantine wafers at a smelter. Okay, so after we finish this, we've got. Um, I mean, we've got our underground smelters. This is going to be closer. So we're going to be. Yeah, there we go. Make adamantine wafers. Oh, I can't even queue it up yet. That's right. I forgot about that. It's a little bit annoying. We need the first strand in there. <gasps> Dwarven Trade Caravan! Oh, we can finally offload our mugs! I'm so excited! I got tons of wood kicking around. I'm so excited, guys! Uh, so, we need to move goods over here. Uh, we are going to sort by uh, any finished goods bin. We're going to grab those. And then, if we have any loose mugs or goblets. There you go, we do. Boom. Many of which should be encrusted with gems. How much mugs do we have in the stockpile? I don't know, I guess we're going to find out in a second here. I mean, I guess if I looked at stocks, um, goblets. Yeah, it's saying 126 here, but 127 iron goblets. I don't know if that includes the ones that are being carried. So, that number may or may not be the final tally, but that's a lot of mugs. You don't get a lot of animantine. It wouldn't surprise me if someone made the animantine into a leash for dwarven war animals. So we're going to unload that. We're bringing all the mugs over. What I think I'm going to do down here is I'm going to build an extra couple of craft dwarf workshops. That's not quite as deep. Their job will entirely be weaving. Alright, okay, we'll discuss the situation. Oh! Merit deserves a reward, and I come empowered to establish this colony as an official land of our realms. Do you have any dwarfs to recommend for elevation? The king already... The king slash queen already lives here. But presumably this will make one of our people into, like, a baron? I can scarcely believe this good news. I have some recommendations. Yeah, so someone's gonna become a baron... Who are we going to pick for this? I'm not muted, am I? No, I'm not muted. Alright, so if I just, like, hold the up key for a while and not look, we're going we're gonna to be... The right way to pick our, our nobles is to pick it completely at random. And... Release. Cross! Cross! It's you! You're going to be a baron! The Shearer Shras Nukimor. Nukimor. I'm going to recommend you. I can only recommend one person, right? Yeah. World is the same as ever. Uh, do I have any requests? Um, yeah, food and booze, buddy. Food and booze. Literally the only things we care about. Uh, yep. Can I go backwards? No. Uh, cheese me all the things. Oh yeah, and it can adjust the whole category at once. That's a handy little tool. Meat. Fish. Plum helmets. More vegetables. There we go. That's our priorities. So bring more of those in the future. Thanks. Okay, look at the important agreement. Finish conversation. Okay, can we do our trip? Yeah, no, no, go away. All right, I think he's finally shut himself up. So if I check the stocks now and the goblet count, uh, it was at the bottom. It's not there anymore. So yeah. So that 127 was inaccurate. 
Um, oh, we need Allie Wiz to come over here. She's reading a book right now. I think it's a sheet. I can't remember. Doesn't increase in priority also increase the price of demand? Yeah, absolutely. It does, but that's okay. Stop reading a goddamn book, Allie! Rah! I mean, they're still going to bring armor and weapons and different things. It's just going to encourage them to bring more food. They will bill us more for it, but that's okay. We have unlimited money. Stop reading the human book. It's literally called the human book. Arrgh. Oh, well. You enjoy that book. You do that. Okay, so we got our smelters going on here. We're going to add tasks. Um, yeah, we still can't make the adamantine wafers. That's okay. We will smelt. Amatite, limonite. Um, and more. So we get lots of iron. Both these will produce iron. And we also want steel, which we can't make right now because, or we can't make pig iron, because we don't have fuel. Okay, so we may actually be lacking. Make coke from coal and lignite. So we probably should shut down the other smelters and just use these then, because we are having some problem getting a steady supply of fuel. So now we won't need fuel to run the heat. We still need fuel for some of the processes, but we won't need fuel to actually produce heat for us. Or something. Stopping production of coal bars. Oh, because we probably don't have any. Alright, so let me go and get rid of these old smelters then. You. And you. Um, I tell you what, I'm going to get rid of the forge as well. We'll have to re everything. That's okay. Go away, smelter. We'll have to remember to get our iron goblet production up again. Okay, that'll be okay for now. Are you still reading the goddamn book, Allie? Ah you have fluxstone? I think we've got... Yeah, yeah, because we've got marble. Um, it's fluxstone. I know we've got some. I think gyps, uh, gypsum might not be, I don't remember, but we do have lots of marble. And we could we could get some more, too. Uh, I don't think nice is. I don't remember. If it makes plaster, yes, that's true. Or you can force her to do trade with them. Um, I might be able to, like... She's reading another goddamn book. Where am I going to live as a baron? Uh, so that's true. So I don't think you've been promoted yet. No, you haven't been. you haven't been elevated quite yet. Yeah, I don't, I don't know if she's in the military, but that's a that's a point. By draft, it's like sort of what I do in uh, RimWorld all the time. And then cancel. There we go. Traded Depot. Yeah, so she must, or he or she must have been in the military. And that reset the job, so she is heading over here. There we go, trade. All right, so what we're going to do is over on the right-hand side, we're going to filter... To just goblet and then we're gonna select all of our goblets so we were offering up 18,000 dwarf bucks worth of stuff out of curiosity if I flagged everything on the left no we don't have quite enough that's a shame so I'll have to pick and choose um, well obviously we're taking all the food and booze you know what maybe it would be easier to just mark everything and then unmark some stuff because so the food and booze is really cheap just takes forever to mark now that's all they brought really maybe they were full on just this stuff 
Well, we can brew our own booze, so I could unmark some of that. As long as we've got food, which is the real scary thing. There's a mug worth 4,000 bucks, is there? Uh, I'm seeing 400. The other thing to check, it's entirely... We're really spending that much money just on this shit here. Man, oh man. Uh, oh yeah, what's the other way? Oh, if I hold shift, I forgot about that. Aha! Much faster. There we go, so now I can just on select some things this way. There you go, now he's turning a profit. Let's give him like a thousand bucks profit. And... Trade. Why can't I trade? Oh, because I'm still in search mode. Clear search the trade. Hit T. Oh, no, we can't, we can't sell you this stuff, I'm sorry. Um, I'm gonna consider the offer. It didn't flag it, right? Did you flag that stuff? Because I'm not allowed to trade anything that's not goblets. Oh, how am I ever gonna find this in the goddamn list? I don't know if we, we're, we're trading something we're not allowed to trade. I don't think so. It's probably in here, but I'll never see it. Oh, there it is. There it is. That is a really fancy-ass table, though. Look at this. Large table with cut, smoky quartz. Worth a ton of money. Um, I can't unmark it. Why? Because it's the counteroffer? I don't want to accept this. Start over again. Goblet. Mark all that. Clear all that. Okay. Now over here, I'm just going to hold down and we'll stop when there's like, yeah, about 3,000 in profit, which they seem to be pretty happy about. Vroom. Vroom. Just page after page after page of food. They didn't bring anything else because they were literally just full of food. Which probably means I should actually request less of it next time, so they've got room for a few other things. Here we go. I'm going to offer you, like, 4,000 dwarf bucks worth of profit there, buddy. And we're only selling him goblets. Yay! Alright, he's pleased with that. Good. Alright, Ali, you can go back to doing whatever the hell you wanted to do. So we got a bunch more food again. Are finished goods bins flagged, or don't I get something? Uh, no, I didn't flag the finished goods bin. I'm pretty sure there weren't. So, if we also go and um, remove... Well, I don't know what buildings, what floor I want to remove yet, actually. Because I might want to build some other things. Okay, these craft wharf workshops, we're going to add in just the jobs to... Just me or my... Oh, there's the metal brands. Do that, and I'll repeat. And another one. There we go. Try to get people to spin the adamantine as quickly as possible by having some redundancy. Yeah, to learn the game, just watch the Let's Plays and then read the wikis. You'll get started. Again, you know, watching from this point is not going to help a lot because things are really complex. And this game also, um, I'm doing something weird where I'm not farming, which normally you want to do farming. But next time, there, you just watch one of the other Let's Plays, and it should give you a lot more useful information. That's looking good. Dining room up here, looking grand. What's our population? 120 people, not all dwarves, unfortunately. Fed without any farms. Just ridiculous. Get a door there. 
and we're gonna throw in some traps cage trap cage trap um, weapon trap mechanisms and we're gonna use giant steel axes one two three of them so there's a trap there when it swings three giant axes will swing at people uh, Bazy, one million minion left and dragon stain thank you very much for the subs and resubs cheers he just gets food by collecting tribute from inferior humans and elves. Yes, and trading mugs. So we've got a ridiculous amount of food now. Look at that, 4,000 units of meat. I'll ask for less meat next time. Good set of bedrooms going on. Actually, these have not been flagged to be bedrooms yet. So I'll add that in. There's still a dormitory, so, like, people have a place to sleep. They're not going to be sleeping on the floor, which is good. And I feel like we want more stonemasons, because the cabinets and stuff are not really getting built at an appreciable rate. I'm going to a trio of those, so we can build doors and cabinets and stuff faster. That one paleontologist! Thanks for the resub! If you want to play DF, die a lot is a major component. Yeah, losing is fun is a saying that really evolved out of Dwarf Fortress um, substantially. Like, every Dwarf Fortress player knows that saying, losing is fun. It's just one of the realities of playing because, uh, you know, it's easy to for things to go really wrong. And then you learn from those mistakes and you do better next time. Until you get to the point where, at this point, barring some really annoying bullshit with, like, were creatures, there's really no way for me to lose a fortress other than kind of intentionally causing trouble. You know, digging deeply and greedily, um, having my army march out to meet seizures instead of just waiting them out, that sort of thing. Um, with enough traps and static defenses, you can hold off a surprising amount of stuff. But it takes a long time to get to that point. Until then, you want to play as carefully and optimally as possible. And then after that, you, you start cutting corners to make things more interesting and fun. Enraged Babies is the best. That was really good, yeah. That was mostly when we reclaimed our fort, and we were being attacked out of the darkness by crazed dwarven babies. FPS death isn't fun, though. That's absolutely true. And the rate is is hurting. We've got a lot of people in this fort, and, you know, the, the sort of construction design that I put in isn't necessarily the best to optimize frame rates, but it does hurt a little bit. Okay, so you're going to make um, blocks, thrones, coffins, doors, cabinets, coffers. All in repeat. Locks, thrones, coffins, doors, cabinets, coffers. And another one. Locks, thrones, coffins, doors, cabinets, coffers. Oh, and tables. Okay, there we go. Infinite repeating jobs there. I've got with uh, workflow, I've got limitations so they'll stop the production if we're full of stuff. But that will help us fill in. Because, like, these bedrooms have been around for a while. And the cabinet never got, you know, hasn't been installed. It says it's suspended. It's not actually suspended. It's just what it says because of the um, uh, the placement mod that I'm using. So we are full of coffins, though, so it stops that right away. We've got a lot of coffins here, but they're, they're well, maybe they're not that empty. I guess we have had a good number of deaths, actually. Oh, there's, um, uh, where was it? Here? TMCK9. That's where he was buried. Poor guy. But yeah, we do actually have a few empty tombs. We've got a couple in the eye of the, uh, let's actually turn off, do I want to turn off the burrow? No, it's fine. We'll leave it on. At some point, someone's going to get buried in the eyes of the, uh, the moose squid. Meanwhile, where's, um... Did I not hotkey the adamantite level? Apparently not. So, down, 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 down. There it is. So, hotkey F6. Zoom there. Excellent. Market for a tomb for the king. Well, the tomb... Um, I should bury TMCK by the well. That's funny. Uh, the king has his own tomb over here. So Suntan Man, who's actually a queen, um, gets buried there because they needed something ridiculously fancy. Ridiculously fancy. Royal Mausoleum. 
That's why I had to load the things with statues and chests and make it as impressive as possible. And all our future kings will also get buried in similar chambers. <laughs> 